Hello everyone! Do you like my new toy? This is the Cricut Cake Machine and I just got it in the mail today so I thought I'd make you a quick video. Um, I actually tried to uh, decorate a cake earlier and it was hideous because I didn't have any of the fondant colors that I needed so I um, actually made my own gum paste. Uh, whatever it's called. I think I'm calling it the right thing. So I'm going to decorate the top of a cookie. Just something really quick that as crafters we can do. So I'm going to start slow and then I'll slowly build up to doing a fondant cake by myself. So um, let's get started. I want to show you a few things about the Cricut Cake Machine. Everything is pretty much the same as the Cricut Expression except it is food grade which means that it is washable and it's safe to use um, on things that you're putting on food and everything pretty much comes off that you can wipe it wipe it down you can wipe this all down and you can even throw the blade in the dishwasher and there's a brush to get out all the um, extra fondant or whatever else you're using on here so I'm going to go ahead go ahead and get started I have the cake basics in here and I want to show you the mat really quick if I can get it here is the mat and the mat I, <laughs> I was wondering why it was so oily. I forgot I already put some shortening on it. In the handbook it says to you know, generously put some, some shortening on there. I just put a little bit of vegetable oil on mine and it's nice and shiny. And I am going to be using, this is called gum paste and I put some cake coloring in it. But Cricut Provo Craft actually has um, I believe there's 14 colors. I might be wrong on that. I, I remember hearing at CHA that you can already roll out and it's ready to go. And I cannot wait to get that in because this was a real pain. So it will be so nice to have that ready to go. So anyway, I'm going to turn it on and I am going to decorate some cookies that I've already frosted. Some sugar cookies. Okay, I'm going to explain this a little bit as I go in case you're not familiar with the Cricut machine. I have my mat here. I have my gum paste on the left corner and I'm going to press load mat. Now I can use these arrows over here just to put the blade anywhere I want and you see I have this rolled out here. Now if I would have if I would have had a pre-rolled one it would be nice and fit on there perfectly but I had to do it myself and a friend came over and she told me the difference between the gum paste and the fondant because earlier I was working with fondant and now it's all melted and everything over my my lame -o cake but um the, the gum paste will actually harden and um, it'll be something that you probably won't want to eat. You can just take it off and you can actually eat the fondant. So I didn't know that. And I'm learning as I go. So again, I don't claim to know everything or anything about doing this, but I'm going to learn. So I thought we could learn together. And I am going to cut this flower right here. And the leaves are part of the cut. So I'm going to cut this once in pink and I'm going to cut it once in green. And now what I need to do is, I don't need to press anything on here, I'm going to press my size and I'm thinking I want it to be about two and a half inches. So I'll do two and a half, the blade depth is already set, and I have my pressure on three and my speed is on two. So now I just need to press the flower that I want, it's right here, just press it down and you can see it in your little viewfinder there. And I'm going to press cut. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I made a mistake. I'm going to I'm going to put material saver, and it's funny because I just noticed that that on my paper cartridges it says paper saver, and on this it says material saver. Now all of these cartridges can be used in any of the Cricut machines. The cake cartridges are not just for cake. You can use them in the paper. I've used I have some of them. I've used already them already in my expression. They're just made to work better with the materials, easier cuts or whatnot. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to see if I can do it at two and three quarters because it's cutting the leaves underneath it. So now I'm going to cut. I'm going to hit repeat last and cut. And let's watch it cut that fondant or the cake paste. Okay, now because it's doing two cuts and it's cutting the flower first, now it's going on to cut the leaves, I can press stop. 
and I won't be able to do that with the second one, but I can do it with the first. So now let's hit unload mat and we'll check this out. Okay, now I have the green all rolled out, ready to go. And I wanted to mention that you want to make sure that there's no material, any food within this area right here that's bordered off because your rollers over here, the rollers will go right through it and it will get in your get in your system and all of that. So just make sure you keep it all on that side of it. And now I'm going to hit repeat last and it'll cut a flower, but the great thing about when you're working with this material, I'm noticing already, it's not like paper. You can just squish it back up and put it in the bag and you can use it later. So it's okay if it's wasting a flower, I'll just squish it right up, not a big deal. And I'm ready to put it on my cookie in a second. Okay, it's time to decorate my cookie. Now I have to be quick with this, I can already feel it hardening. And there's probably some of you cake decorators watching this and saying, oh, you should have taken that off right away. And I can tell that it's already hardening, but it's okay. I'm learning. But isn't this pretty? And I can just put it right on top of this, but I wanted to put my leaves down first, so I'm going to take this off and hurry and put it in my bag so I don't waste it. Because I want to use this again later. So I'm just squishing it up. It's like Play-Doh. And as you can tell from my pink hands, I did it. I need to get some gloves or something. Okay, and I'll wrap that up in a minute. I'm going to take my leaves, and I probably want to use some sort of spatula for this in the future. And I'm going to put my leaves on here first. One here. One leaf there. And, see my leaf? And then I'm going to put one over here. Just kind of guessing where I want them to go. And then I can feel it already getting really hard. And, now what I could have done also was kind of while it was moist or while it was pliable, I could have, um, you know, lifted it up a little bit and messed around with it, but here we go. That is just one thing you can do. Now, again, like I said, I'm a paper crafter, so I'm going to start slow with this new cake decorating and cookie decorating and cupcake hobby. So I just wanted to show you the basics of the cake. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fabulous day.